Welcome to the Prelude to Computer Science. This is interlude number two. So I've put together a set of ten problems to help you think about the ideas we discussed in the first five videos, uh, namely on binary uh, numbers and on uh, number systems. I'll post those along with their solutions to the website. Uh, don't spend a lot of time on the problems. Uh, if you don't know the answer, just look it up. Uh, there is one trick problem which is clearly marked as a trick problem. Uh, you just have to think about it a little bit. If you have any questions, send me email and remember no real names. Uh, the next video in the series will discuss the components of a computer and um, we'll design a program, uh, a, um, a little computer in a program using an imaginary processor. I'm not sure many, how many videos this will take. Right now it's, it's three separate videos, but I'm trying to get it down to one. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, now, the, it's going to seem like a leap of logic, and that's because it is. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of hand-waving at this point from logic gates to CPUs or central processing units. Uh, try not to let that bother you. Um, uh, now, so, uh, so there are several questions. Why cover logic gates at all if you're not going to do m more with them? Well, uh, as I mentioned in one of the videos, I'm just trying to give you a feel for how certain things might be done. I'm not trying to go into a complete development of a computer from logic gates. Uh, just trying to uh, let you understand that it's not magic, that, th that things happen for a reason. Um, it's not important to the thread of the thing that we go into details, and there are a, a number of reasons not to go into detail. The first is, uh, I never, I only when I studied this material myself, I only went to a certain level. So I, I learned how to make registers and latches and uh, what have you uh, with logic gates, uh, but the electrical engineering was not. I, I was not electrical, an electrical engineer, and so there was a certain uh, level beyond which I didn't go. Um, secondly, it's been many years since I covered that material, and I don't want to um, uh, go off and teach a whole lot of stuff that's not wrong. I don't mind uh, m uh, not being perfectly you know, on target with things, but I don't want to completely miss the target. Um, and lastly, I think uh, things have, impro have improved, technology has improved and so forth, and it could be that uh, certain things may not even be applicable anymore. They may, they may have better, better techniques for doing some of the things that I learned. Uh, all, uh, um, I, and also, I'll tell you, it's just been so many years since I did this stuff um, that, uh, I mean, I, I was looking through my computer design, or my computer design book, uh, that I had, and man, oh man, I, it's just amazing how much stuff you miss, uh, <laughs> in, uh, or, or that you forget in 25 years. It was just agony. Um, now, uh, let's see, the, the other question is, how important is logic to computer science? Well, logic is very important. Um, uh, not necessarily the gate stuff that we've talked about, um, that's not necessarily important to um, uh, the development of an understanding of computer science, but the application to uh, programming, and in particular in areas like database programming and artificial intelligence, it's uh, really a, a crucial thing. It's, uh, um, it's just something that you have to learn and have to be comfortable with in order to uh, do well at those things. So, um, the next, uh, as I mentioned, the next video will be on these, uh, uh, on uh, designing a little computer and writing a, a quick program to go along with it, and uh, uh, give a try to the problem, see how that works for you, and uh, don't hesitate to send me emails. Thank you.